Hi friends, welcome to International Crafters. Um, today Nikki and I have a fun project. Uh, and we are just going to be waiting for some people to come in. Oops, I'm knocking things over. We are decided to do a Romany wagon. So, it's, uh, I'm just going to get onto my thing, make sure here on my phone, make sure we have chat. Um, it's like a, oops, like a gypsy wagon, right, Nikki? That yep. you say, yep. but not, I know it's gypsy is kind of a loose term, night, but yeah. A wagon from the people who, who came from Rome, Rome, um, oh boy, it was in my head, now I just slipped away. Yeah, try, try saying UK. Romania. That's what, that's what I'm Romania. thinking of. Yeah. Anyways, so hi Ross. Uh, hi Ross. Sorry we we're so late today, but I think we're going to be changing our time to a later time because Nikki has um, work at this time now. So to be more convenient for her, we might have to change the time to a little later. So yeah. So we're making a wagon today, and we're going to have the live chat and talking to you ladies and just kind of winging it. I have some cardboard here and what are you using for your wagon, Nikki? Oh yeah. Okay. That's what I'm using because it's sort of like already part constructed so I thought why make it difficult for myself. I've got a uh, little kitten kitten cat. One food oh, yeah, so it's a whiskers cat box. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to be recycling today. I have old Dutch potato chips <laughs> box that I'm going to use. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, Ros doesn't know where it is. Ros is going to have to go shortly. Two minutes, yeah. Oh, sorry, Ros. She's been waiting for a while for us to come on, too. Oh, well, Ros, invite everybody you know to come and join us. <laughs> And you can watch us later. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be constructing this wagon. So, um, the Roman, how do you say that? Romia? Romania. <laughs> yep. Romani, sorry. Um, wagons. I just drew a little sketch of one sort of here. And they're kind of like the rounded ones, but they do have the square ones too, or rectangular ones too. But traditionally, originally they had, I think, they show more of these when I was looking them up. Um, that's right. Yep. Yep. Wagon. So that's what it is. And they had quite the paintings, um, designs on them, carvings and whatnot. So we're just going to kind of wing it and try to go from there make some of these okay so are you just gonna leave it on me <laughs> for that oh yeah i'm still chewing <laughs> okay. I'm no, just I'm with the lunch people <laughs> yeah thinking about using basically i got the back half of the box cut off and it's down here and i was just thinking about using this whole piece as and and kind of bend it in oh the, the camera is going to be a really hard one for today. Yeah. Kind of, I'm going to go up as far as I can. If you guys can't see, just let me know. But I'm trying to make it view. And I want to kind of use the natural curve that it'll do when it bows this way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut down and shorten up my wagon, I guess. This is a full box. And so I'm just going to cut it down. Um, the last time I made a wagon, I used about this size of wheel, I believe. So I think I will estimate the size that I'm going to have two wheels here. So I'm going to cut down my wagon about, it'll be about that. I'm not measuring, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not measuring, are you? No. So I'm just going to wing it and I'm cutting down. Um, is this almost three quarters of the way down? On my box, so just wing it. Whatever gives you the estimate, like whatever you're using for your wheels, if you could kind of just like 
Yes, to me. Your thickness for the wagon. That's that's what I would do. That's all I'm doing is guesstimating for that. So, so this is going to be now. You can see it a little bit better coming through my wagon top. And I can even use these flaps as a door, the back part of the door here, the lower part. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I got to figure that out. I also got to figure out this flap if I want to cut it off or if I want to just glue it down. So that's kind of what I'm going for right now. So, Nikki, you still snacking over there? <laughs> <laughs> She's having her, her snack. She just came home from work. So, yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, time. So yeah, I'm almost finished. Look, I'm just having a quick snack. <laughs> okay. Listen. Trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how thick I want this. How if I want to glue this? I'm just trying to figure that out here now. It's really hard to figure out where my camera's at too. So I think I'm just gonna wing it and go here. If I want to unglue something, I'm just gonna heat it up with my heat gun or heat tool. And to rip it apart so I don't rip in my cardboard if I don't like the way I my pieces positioned it. Hi Jennifer. I think, I think this is good. I think. Might be too I don't know. I'm thinking for now. That's a very scary thought. I'm thinking. <laughs> this would be a very scary thought. So oh boy. You know what? I think I'm just going to glue to the back of this cardboard here in this lower part. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm going to really go quickly. We'll see how that works. I might just tack it down in a few spots really good and throw some glue around. Yeah, glue gun, good idea. For this, yes, glue gun is definitely the way to go. Because you just kind of don't know where what's going to happen here, and I'm just kind of like I said just now. I'm just like, oh, what am I going to do? This is I don't have to measure anything. I'm gluing it down and I'm cutting it around, so it kind of saves me on that. That's what I found with the other uh, another wagon I made. Yeah, just glued it down. And yeah. So the idea for this actually came from watching Eileen do her um her uh, duck wagon. <laughs> Not her chuck wagon, her duck wagon. So, um, yeah. and I thought it looked such fun. I wanted to have a go myself. So, so here we are. This is why we're doing this one now. <laughs> so what I did was I just did a little string of glue right here because it wasn't really glued down. And now this is easy. Now this back piece here, I'm just cutting off, no measuring. It's not going to be perfect. If I want it perfect, I could blow some heat in here and loosen it up. Just like this here, I'll just do it. Right here, there's a little bit of a, it's indented, I can blow some heat in here. Loosen up that glue and move it around a bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I'm not too worried about it being... Um, <laughs> Larger scissors. Glue. Larger scissors. Yeah, I don't know if I have any. Well, I do have some kitchen scissors, but oh, maybe I do. Actually, I do. Look, there oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting about these. So there, I, I saved a lot of cardboard, and I didn't have to measure, even though I'm a little maybe off on this part. It's a little squeezed in, but whatever. Estimating, guesstimating. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the front. I might fix it up here because I might want the doors to flat, but for now it's holding on. So, Eileen, don't go too fast. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. Like I can't. I just once I get started. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but um, don't go too fast. Okay. Because you know me, I don't craft as fast as you. Okay. 
So I'm just going to probably cut this out here at the bottom. The, the thing that I really got to figure out is this part here. Maybe I'll just leave that flap here a little bit as a little balcony or something like that. I was going to cut it and bend it uh, in. Yeah, that they sort of like have that overhang at the front so that when they're driving, um, yeah. they, also it's, they keep dry when well, it's raining. I, back, I noticed they have it in the back more than the front. No, in the in the front because of uh, of driving, you know, when you're driving your horses and that, you want to keep dry, don't you? Yeah. The ones that I've seen, though, it was more in the back because they had the little balcony and little steps in the back. Yep. So, don't know. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I want. How much I want out in the back. Let's see what everyone's saying here because I'm I'm just gonna you wanna go to what what are you doing? You wanna show what you're doing? Oh yeah, okay. What I'm doing is I'm just gluing apart the bits that um that have ripped off because I didn't know I was going to be reusing this box. <laughs> so I'm just tacking down bits there. And um what I'm thinking is uh is I'm not going to have the rounded one, I'm going to make it a pointed one, but I'm going to make it um, so that this flap hinges up. So mm -hmm. I'm keeping this bit here, I'm going to be putting another piece of cardboard on over, and I'll probably put magnets here, so that the whole thing, this side will um, just hinge up and come, and then you've got a, um, you'll have a container to use after, that's what I'm thinking. That's the way my thought process is going on this one. So. Um, but yeah, I've got a bit of catching up to do. Sorry, because I was munching. <laughs> Hi, Anne-Marie. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen you forever. <laughs> yeah, this would be fun to go at it. I don't remember if I've seen your gypsy journal. I can't remember. That's cool. I think I. I think I. Oh, it's, it's hard to remember <laughs> what I've watched, <laughs> what I've seen. That would be cool to check out. back to you Eileen. oh is it I'm just cutting a little slit in my back here and you guys probably can't see that see this is going to be a difficult one to um, record I'm cutting a little slit back here for my back window it's not going to be perfectly straight but try a little bit here <laughs> and then I just want to have like the little doors open for the window Mm. And I'm just doing that now before I one forget on have the bottom on and it's too difficult to cut. So Oh you know what? You're right. The back I'm thinking the back is the front the back is where the door is as well because that's where the things come up. Okay. I'm think I'm seeing this thing all backwards. <laughs> I'm looking at it as like a, a trailer or a, a cargo, you know. Okay. <laughs> caravan. I'm looking at it as a caravan, but the caravans. I've got to say it's your project, and you can have the door wherever you want. <laughs> you can have it wherever you want. It's your project, your design. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going by what I I saw. <laughs> what I I saw. So anyways, I'm cutting my slit here for the doors, and I don't know if it's visible, but this is just for the windows, the little windows. And my project's not quite straight, but we'll see if I can disguise that later on. Haha. Uh -huh. Marie, you having trouble sweet sleeping? <laughs> see, it's almost midnight. Is it 11 or almost midnight? Almost midnight. I don't know. It's seven hours from here, and it is... Yeah, I think it's midnight for Anne-Marie. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Roz, do. Make a little uh, gypsy wagon for your um, gypsy journal. Really cool. All right. So, this is my... Uh, this is hard to record. This is hard to keep 
under the camera. <laughs> I might have to put little pieces of. Right there. And then you have to. Um, put a little glue back here. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple little pieces just to make the bars in the window. I'm just going to glue them on the inside. Am I hitting my camera? Yep. <laughs> this is a really hard piece to, you can you guys see, record. I'm trying to do just a little little piece here if it works unfortunately it might it'll have to get painted on just so and painted over but there's my little window oh cool so they don't have windows on the side most of them I've seen a few but there we go they're so small, they need that, need that inner um, space, don't they, to, um, yeah. they need that inner space to hang things up on the walls and that, so yeah. Okay. I'm talking like I, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't really. <laughs> sure, it's just looking at, like, just, you kind of, like, they don't show the greatest pictures in some of these old ones. They don't show too much detail on the inside. At least, well, I just went on Google and I just searched it really quickly. I didn't really do in-depth um, research on it. I'm just straightening out my bottom here. But Michelle's asking Anne-Marie if she got another glue gun because Lidl's have them now. And I can't believe that Lidl's have them. Ooh, Lidl's, it's a cheap shop in the supermarket shop thing in the UK. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's just like, oh my goodness. It's a shocker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to glue this down here. The glue is a, mm. I can disguise the glue a little bit when I paint over it and whatnot. So. Oop, pushing on too hard. <laughs> yeah, careful. <laughs> yeah, careful, exactly. And it's kind of hard to get exact. Gotta get my hand in there. But this is the part where you guys need to see what I'm doing. It's kind of tough. I'll do that after. So. Adding my bottom right now. <laughs> I didn't put them on too straight. And this end here is going to get pushed in. And I didn't glue it down because it's not quite in enough. But I think now it's so hard to show, Nikki. Yep. It is so hard to show this. Oh, just right. come back. Come. oh yeah, you got it? Yeah, you can go to you for now. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing much. <laughs> I'm not doing much. What I'm doing is I'm trying to think of the construction of the roof. So, um,. Um, as I'm doing the uh, a typical roof one because I want to hinge it up. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm just putting some magnets on this flap that I've got here. And uh, then I'll be putting magnets on to the paper there as well. And, uh, and that will be like, the first bit that I'm thinking about in the construction of the roof. Um, I'm going to construct it first without the overhang and then put an overhang on after. So uh, it's really just thinking about how it works at the moment. So we're, uh, 
we're both doing this on the fly <laughs> without yeah. uh, without having really thought you know about sizes and construction and that just to show you that if you just play with things <laughs> then you can work it out so and you can see that we're doing it the same but differently <laughs> you know mm -hmm. as always trying to work it out yeah, yeah. finding yeah. our own way to it yeah exactly which is what it's all about because then then if you did everything the same it, it, everybody's work would look the same <laughs> exactly. crazy don't want that so i'm just uh working on my magnets we have all the fun of decorating as well i'm going to put my heat tool on for a little bit so if you want to continue <laughs> Yeah, so I just seen what was the uh, Amory's question. I have no idea. <laughs> Can't remember now, Amory. I think I think it was my question though. I think it was um, Michelle's question. She was asking if you had a glue gun. Mm. You also have the gas one too. What the heat? The um, when you say the gas one, do you, do you mean that one? Do you mean that oh, one, yeah. Michelle? Yeah. That's probably the dirtiest tool I have at the moment. <laughs> you do a lot of pours, so yeah. Pour. So yeah, just getting to this slowly. I have a slight headache for having just finished work. Got a nice uh, strawberry um, pomegranate and uh, green tea with kawa kawa. So uh, kawa kawa native. Um, a New Zealand plant. It's lovely. It's delish. Yeah. Not too sweet. So as I say, I'm just uh, working on creating my flap and I'm just going to try and get that triangle even. So um, I probably have to just come out of shop for that. Mm. Yeah, it's a difficult thing to um, have under the, oh, no, gas-filled glue gun. I've never heard a of it. Gas, a gas-filled glue gun? Never heard of it. No. That's a new one on me. <laughs> me too, that's interesting. Hmm. That's definitely a new one on me. When I was a kid, um... That was a long time ago. You know the style then, back then, way back then, when everyone curled their hair and they had it pretty big oh, yeah. on top and whatnot. Yep. Well, my mom had this propane, little propane hair curler. Oh, my, goodness, my mom did too. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, and she had to curl her hair camping. <laughs> so I was like, it's a little like butane or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. Pippi's what in a half an hour? Pippi's moving it. Uh, he's having a hard, mad half hour. Oh, is she is she dreaming, or no, just no, going? They, no, they just go crazy, don't they? Oh, I don't. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So your cat doesn't have crazy moments fighting with the dog? Well, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I just don't pay attention to it. It's like, oh, play. They, but it's got something to play with, so it doesn't. Yeah. So I think I've got my hair. Uh... Yeah, it looks okay. Looks like it's going to go. Mine's a little crazy. Mine's a little crazy. But oh, well. Went a little wonky on the gluing, but I just got 
move the glue a little bit in a couple spots. It's really hard to see, guys. So sorry. It's one of those projects. It's one of those projects is just a little tricky. Wow, this one's really not straight. Not like my last one. <laughs> um, oh well. It's different when you're doing live stream. <laughs> Right, going back to you. Oh, mine's quite wonky. But this is so far what I have. Um, he's got a little front step thing. It's quite wonky. I might be able to put some cardboard on there to fix that up after. I'll have to look to see what I have underneath. What I could do is cut some planks out to make it look like little... Um, plywood pieces to go across to cover up my mistakes that's probably if I wanted to make it really super nice that's probably the smart thing to do I'm still not sure about this part here I think I'll leave it for now the front oops the front end so that's kind of where I'm at it's really wonky looking right now like I said, I didn't is going to be but I might just find some extra cardboard and put it across like the plywood because they, they were made with wood and they had the wood frames like a house like um two by four and somehow they rounded it oh they did it this way and yeah that's what it is they did it this way then the wood on top anyway they didn't make it as wonky as mine <laughs> but we will we'll fix that so, so what I need to do is just find some more cardboard, see if I can quickly snap some up. I have tons downstairs, but I don't know if I can. I wasn't expecting to be using so much. So I got another old Dutch. This is our favorite chip brand. <laughs> this old Dutch is gluten free. So I'm just going to start making my, my pieces, I think, to uh, put across. Um, when, I, when the kids were little, I used to make um, like tanks and stuff like that for them and like the boys and then Sherry and made a barn and what I did was I made the whole thing a cardboard and then I would cut like wood pieces so it looked like real plywood on it or um, two by fours so that's kind of what I'm doing today I'm gonna be cutting out some two by fours all right cool just to fix up a lot of my mistakes right because I'm just <laughs> And it's going to look really neat. And then when I gesso it and then I paint it, it's going to look really neat. So I think I'm going to paint it like brown and then like a little light brown, make maybe some wood color green on it or something. So here's my piece of example of PC plywood. So I'm going to, it's going to take a little while. But I'm going to try to cut them close to the same length or thickness. Good luck for me. I'm going to leave a little space. I know it's going to be really tricky and look a little different, but that's what I'm going to do. Some of them are going to be a little bit wonky, but I could probably do it on a cutter too, but my paper cutter is so dull that I really don't want to dull it anymore on cardboard. So... You know what I mean? I just want whatever I have left, I want to use it on paper projects. So, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put pieces of plywood down like that to kind of, one, it's going to cover up some of my mistakes, and two, it's going to look kind of neat. 
just like that. And I think what I'll do is I will use my tacky glue on this part because I'll take my time. Where's my tacky glue? Where did I run away to? Oh, my paper. So I don't know if you guys can see me. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> Now this is kind of a project that usually takes a lot of time and I'm being quite fast, quick at it, really. I think the first one I might actually add some hot glue because that hot glue has a little bit more dimension. Let's see. It will help me tack it down a bit better too, I think. I'm not sure if I want to use hot glue for all of them. We'll see. We'll see how hard it is to tack them all down. And then you get the kind of in between the wood pieces, the gaps. They're not even. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> to know I can everyone can see me. So I know it's kind of a little bit different. Uh, it's not a house, but I'm doing the little wood planks kind of like that. I think it'll look neat. Now the other ones are gonna be shorter. Jody's gonna love it if it comes out the way <laughs> she used to see some of the stuff that I need for her and her brother. <laughs> I'm cutting another piece, but I'm trying to save the big ones in case I need them for something else. And there's some really small. I'm going to save these because I need like flaps and doors and whatnot, so I don't know what I need. I want to save them just for the end. I never know. So I'm going to cut these one. This length. See, I, I'm not a good measuring person. Did you see that? I'm going to totally I'm not measuring. Whenever you want to switch it to you, Nikki, you can too. I'm going to keep talking, doing the same old, same old. I'm cutting and cutting and cutting strips and adding them. So. Okay. So uh, I've just remembered that I've got this uh, fabulous uh, um, window die. So, um, <laughs> and it cuts out like this. So I thought I'd oh. use that to decorate the outside. So I, what I did was I just placed it on and... Um, Cut out this is going to be the window bit. So I've cut that out. And uh, and then, <coughs> but, uh, of course, because the box is already a box, it's actually quite difficult to do the cutting out of that without, without necessarily stabbing yourself. Oh, no worries, Marie. Uh, Marie Apologizing for being quiet. No worries. She's playing with her uh, kitty. Play with the kitty. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So I'm just trying to find the small scissors, which are here somewhere. Excuse me, folks, while I look for my little scissors. So I've got the um, case for them, look. <laughs> I can't find the scissors. I don't know where my case is for my... <laughs> It's a missing, they're missing in action. Yeah. Oh, I see them. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Sorry. Michelle. Where did you get one? that one, Nikki, if you don't mind us asking? Where'd you Sorry? Pick that, that die, where'd you pick it up? Yeah, it's, it's from my local craft store. Oh, you did probably say that, I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't say I didn't say I'd forgotten. 
Yeah, I just picked it up from my local craft store. Oh, nice. I have a lovely craft store. They have crops there and everything, um, but they only have limited numbers, and I've yet to manage to get onto one of their uh, things, but they hold it usually hold it on a Saturday, so that's no good for me. Mm. Because of working every other Saturday anyway, and quite often I pick up Saturday shifts too. So, mm. but, uh, yeah, I tell you what, if I manage to get actually get on one of their little crop things, um, I would say to work, no, I can't work today. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have a little bit of crafting time. You barely get a chance to craft anymore these days. No, it's horrible. Yeah. See, this is my favorite time. Mm. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah. Sometimes get one I sometimes do live on a Monday. I try mm -hmm. to do it Sunday, but I've been working the last couple of Sundays. But um this Sunday I should probably do a live. Probably. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm just cutting this now. I try not to cut myself while I'm doing it. It's a silly idea, isn't it? Could actually try just cut yourself is not a silly idea. Hmm? Trying not to cut yourself is not a silly idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably cutting the window was probably a silly idea. I could just like have a pretend window. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I think it's a great idea. I thought that window was really, really cute. Yeah, I could. I could have made it a pretend window. You see, I could have just. Yeah, I cut some stuff moving on, I suppose, yeah. yeah. But now I've started it, I've got to continue with it. <laughs> A faux window. Mm. Why am I cutting the window in it? It's good to be like, oh man. <laughs> that was silly. I think I'm, yeah. I should have thought about it when I should have, like, Taken a few moments and thought about it, and then said, "No, let's mm -hmm. make pretend." That actually, when we're crafting on the fly, we don't have much time to think. Hi, Sherry. We're just like going for it. So, yeah, yeah. If I do, if I'd have actually planned this one out, I'd have done the faux window. <laughs> yeah. If I would plan so I might have had a little bit more straighter cuts, but I'm just like cutting, and then I'm looking at the camera. Or, you know, on the thing, looking at, like, how you guys can't see. And I'm paying more attention to the computer <laughs> than the, the craft itself. Where okay. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a little wonky. Uh, yep. Yeah. We can definitely say wonky, Romy um, wagons, did we not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, folk. Um, simple. Oh man! If you try this, if you try this one at home, make it a faux window, or better yet, make it a um, oh, what they call them, shaker window. Ooh, that would be cute. Oops, make it a shaker window. Make it a little bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, I could like be at this forever trying to do this darn window. Man, uh, you see, I thought I was saving myself time by having just the actual box box, but obviously yeah. not. <laughs> My planks here are really crooked, so you're doing good. If I, yeah, if I had a um, oh man, a circle punch, I, I would have put shingles on here, but I'm not. I'm just going to put some design paper on there and say yo. <laughs> Yo, done. All in a day. Design paper, yeah. Design paper. Wow, are my planks funky? Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Marie, where are, where are they going? Steve and Louise. They're funky, funky, funky. Let's, let's catch up with Amory's life. <laughs> I'll go back to you because it's like I'm struggling oh. as a window, and I don't want you to see you to see me when I cut myself. Okay. Oh dear. 
<laughs> well, I'm working on my other side here, and I'll flip it just to show you guys what I did. But I'm just trying to put some planks on this side. And I'm actually going to flip it over here to show you what it's kind of going to look like. If you guys can see that, it's looking more woody. <laughs> so I put the first plank on with hot glue just because I have the lower piece here and it's more dimensional. And I'm going to glue the other ones on. So these ones are a little bit longer here and I'm just going to cut the ends off after. And so kind of one fix a little bit of this mis like curviness to kind of disguise it a bit although it's this side's really curvy what I could do though is add some card behind it or something like that just to straighten it out a bit Just to help straighten it a little bit. It won't be seen too much. So I could do that. Which I think I will actually. Put some hot glue on there. Just to kind of fix up my boo-boo. And I got hot glue going everywhere. Somebody's just going to take a smelling. Hot glue there, everywhere, hot glue. The uh, old, the old crafter song. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just going to continue with my planks. And these ones are a little bit longer than the other side that I cut, just because I don't want to figure out how much to cut and then have to. Okay, Beth. What's up? Peg says she's moving upstairs and she'll be back in a second. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I'm going to put my strip here. It's a little crazy wonky. Oh my god, I'm still struggling with these silly holes. <laughs> All right. I think I think it's because there's a plastic coating on this um, box, and so it's actually making it more difficult to cut it than it should be. Ah, maybe. I have some hot glue on that. This one's a little. And I'm doing this with just the tacky glue here, so I can move it around if I want, and it makes it easier. I'm just hot gluing the bottom there. Apparently, I'm not. Uh, and messing around too much if I make a mistake it's easy to move around this is kind of a slow process this, well actually the slow process was really cutting these things and I was trying to go so fast I kind of really cut them wonky but hey there we go Makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. Wonky's my middle name. I like Wonky the tennis. <laughs> well, today it's Wonky. When I use gold, it's gold. <laughs> gold finger. <laughs> yeah, go. gold. Gold tennis. I mean so. gold tennis. Yeah. There we go. But that's my great. Oh, you guys could barely see me. See what I do? I throw myself right off. I think I have to go on my thing here. I'm totally. Looks like I started off with a really messy surface, but I really didn't. It's just the way it is. Maybe I'll move my camera this way. Sorry, guys, for fiddling with my camera right at the, this moment. It's just that I'm totally out of range here or something 
Okay, not too bad now, right? Not too right. bad. I did not realize how badly off to the side I was or more facing me than the project. Not too good. You can see how it's kind of correcting some of my mistakes. And it's also looking like a nice wood panel. It's not going to be perfect like the way they build theirs, but hey, it's going to be like the way I build mine. And if you can see all the crevices here, it's going to be breezy. I'm going to have a breezy trailer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I think I'll just put the glue there. Yeah, easy breezy. Wag. Okay. Both sides done so far. Now I just got to do the overhead. That looks so weird on camera. It's just so big, but that's how it looks. <laughs> that's how it looks. So I'm just going to continue this. And yeah, you might want to share what you're doing because this is going to be a little bit of a long process. I well, I think I want to do the same wood panel over the top, but I'm not sure now. Maybe I should do... Um, different for shingles or something. Okay, I've just got another box now. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do the extension at the front. Okay. But, uh, but I could actually let's see, let's see if I can get this flap down without totally ruining it. You're on yours now, right? Good. Okay. Just trying to get this, because if I can get this off. Okay, yeah. Okay, and if I cut across there, I've got double opening doors. Ooh. Like that, you see. Opening doors, there you go. Why am I cutting it that way? I don't know. No idea. There you go. So the flap there, flap there. Magnets get back up there. Oh, I'm getting there. <laughs> A lot of guessing. It's a guessing game. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to cut along this box now, and um, just to give me that extension at the front. I keep knocking my magnets out. And you won't be able to see, will you? <laughs> it's good. It's a, yeah, it's a hard project to see. Yeah. So it's going to go uh, all the way along. So well, I'm quite pleased I thought about opening that up for, like, opening up doors. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Just pop that there. All this advertising we're doing. <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah, all Dutch. Yep, this stuff here, 100% natural, it's just pure juice, just that, oh, it's delicious, it's like mouth-watering stuff, I love it. Mm -hmm. So, the company wants to give me a freebie to uh, advertise their product, <laughs> it's <laughs> lovely. Ooh. I'm open to that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's okay, here, but in Cora's home, she hey. wants to go play in the snow. She wants to go to Oh yeah, it's just fruit juice, apple juice, poisonberry, blackcurrant juice, natural flavour, and vitamin C. Mm. It's lovely. It's lovely. Yeah.
dogs and the birds are at it. Oh yeah. Isn't it funny when they all start. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get, going to measure mine and then cut it. Hopefully, get some straight lines going. Have you thought about your wheels and things? Um, yeah. I'm just going to do. I I still have to do. I'm going to do roll paper wheels, like I've done before, and paper straws for the axles. Yep. So, and then you um, put the straw through into the wheels, and then they spin. So. I'm just looking at this. I'm missing the black back flap. Like you said, I should have a back flap. <laughs> Why didn't I listen to you, Nikki? No, you carry on. No, do I need a back it's flap. It's so yours. Said, you do it. <laughs> I think I might need a back flap, so I'm just looking at that. It's a little one. I'm not even sure what the back side looks like because they never show the other side <laughs> on all the ones I was looking at. Yeah, no. I was like, really? I'm guessing. I'm like, okay, I can see a window through, but I don't see windows on the side. <sighs> Frustrating. At least the ones that were bowed. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm making my own up. I'm not going by picture now because it's like, nah. <laughs> it's going to be mine now. It's mine. Mine. It's mine. It's my van. It. Nikki called it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's hot glue. I can really feel that. Dog. I not give up. Oh, yeah. the Was there an N in there, uh, Anne Marie? <laughs> Ventura. Oh, I just got that. Just got thingies all over me then. Okay. So I got my um, two by fours or whatever, my plywood across both sides. So okay, just going back to you then so people can see. All right. This is hard to see, guys. <laughs> so I have the um, panels on both sides. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a maybe a canvas roof or something like that. Um, I'm just fixing up my back side here a little bit. So I'm so oh, there we go. So it looks a little wonky. So I'm just putting some strips of wood down on either side here to kind of curb my wonkiness don't know if that'll work because it's pretty wonky you might have to kind of snip things out if i can find my scissors snip things up as i go it's one of those things that you're just like snipping as you go a little bit but I'm trying to get it to look a little bit more <laughs> so this is it can you guys see that oh it's so hard to see this is it this side back side it's gonna look totally different once it's gessoed and I'm gonna gesso it this time before I put my wheels on I wasn't thinking that one through the last time and I still got to work on the front here so I got to put something on the front so I have to put it in here didn't think that part through so and I had to add a little bit of a flap here so that's that but for the front I think I'm just gonna have to add piece I'm just cutting cardboard like crazy over here it's like everywhere <laughs> but I'm gonna have to make like a window 
that flaps open here. So I'm doing this without even measuring, but probably a bad idea for this part. I'm going to use the flat end of. Can you guys see? Yep. And I'm just kind of guesstimating. There. So that'll open up just like that. Move my knife out of the way so I don't get hurt. I probably got this way too wide, but. So I just want to cut it up and put it in that door area. This could be a really big winging it, but I am going to wing it. I'm going to eyeball it. It's probably too big right now, but big is better than too small. can see all this craziness that's going on. My bird is really going crazy up there. Yeah, I can hear. So, uh, yeah, a little bit more in. If I can get this in there, I'm just going to have to do a little more rounded in there from the top. Oh, it's going to fall apart. I might actually just split it and then um, put each side in. I think I'll have a better luck at doing that. Probably. Meeting in the middle. Is that even visible for you guys? That's crazy. Crazy talk. So some of my glue dripped down behind there, so I'm going to re-glue that on the top here, but some of it will tack it down. Now I'm going to glue this side. It'll be overlapping a bit, but at least it'll be. Can you see that? It'll overlap a bit, but at least it'll be somewhere there. And there's better ways of doing this, guys. I'm just really crazy at doing it. I'm just, I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. And I see that there's a little bit of a point here that's coming to me from getting right snug in there. And this is like the way I operate a lot of times. And then I'll get it in there just the way I want it. Oh, sweet. The hot glue is kind of a pest because it's making me more sticky than a little bit of a pest. Probably have a better time at it if it was tacky glue. But another thing about tacky glue is when you're doing live stream, it take forever. Yeah. So I'm coming together. It's a little wonky looking, but it's coming together. That's my thing. <laughs> is that crazy or what? That's crazy. But it's coming together. The end of it all will be a lot better. Okay, looking not too bad. A couple little spots that are just questionable. But Such a hard project to do. <laughs> um, visibly, for everyone to see. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Is everybody going crazy yet? Are my fingers being so chunky monkey in the way or what? 
Chunky Blinky. <laughs> They're like in the way, and all you see is knuckles. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Chunky fingers and knuckles. And I don't know why my fingers look so chunky, but they always did. Just because you placed the camera. For me? Because what? Close to the camera. Oh. It's close to the camera, I think it'll always look bigger close to the camera, won't it? Yeah. Ooh, that's warm. Drop that fast if it's warm, just saying. Burning yourself on heat gun again, are you? Oh, uh, just a little. This is not too bad. So now I just put a strip there to make it look less wonky. Can you guys see that? You guys are just like probably like shocked that this is even going on because I'm trying to be pretty good at this. Anyways, and then this side. It's quite... How's yours going, Nikki? Yeah, well, I'm going to be using a little bit more cream in here. Fit it in. Let's get in. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so um so this is what I've got so far is um just popped my roof on. Right. Mine's gonna be hinged up. I'm just trying to decide whether I need just a little bit more magnets along there. And I've got my overhang this end. Cool. Got my base on, got my little um doors there. I've decided I'm putting a faux window on there and at the back and there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover that over and make it a faux window because it's just, a, oh, I might leave it. I was going to say it's not too um, straight, but it might be okay. Probably well, leave it. You have seen my projects before, right? It's true. <laughs> so these are the doors. These are my little finished doors. And uh, yeah, I've got to think about how I'm going to do the wheels. I haven't given that any thought at all. So uh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> and I'll probably do three wheels actually. But yeah, just decide if I need two more magnets on, I might just do that. Probably do that anyway. It's yeah. a good idea. I think it'd do it. That's how I live my life. I think it'd do it. I wonder how many people are on right now. I'm just looking. It's quiet. Yeah. It's a quiet chat. That's quiet. Very quiet. Well, I know Anna Marie is playing with Pippi, but everyone else is. <laughs> What's everybody doing? Pippi's going to sleep now. Is she? she? Yes. So, yeah, we're, we're a little bit quiet because we're concentrating. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what are we going to do? How are we going to make this work? I need more hot glue. Let's see, I probably plug in my computer now. Let's see here. Just checking. If I, yeah. Yeah, plugging in my computer now. I couldn't plug it in earlier, I would have overcharged it, and I don't need anything else going around with my computer. <laughs> it's plugged in now, though. <sighs> I have been having problems with computers, so if my end turns off, I'll be back. That's why Nikki's doing the stream this time. Like she's been doing, she's gonna be doing the stream for a while, all the time, running it, 
because my computer, when it turns off, you guys will all be gone. So that way she doesn't lose everybody. It'll be a little bit easier too. And then I just click back on it. it luckily, if my computer turns on right away, it should. Been doing that. Coming back on. Been lucky so far, but I do need a computer. My husband's been putting it off too long. So, I need more plywood. I got a lot of gessoing to do. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm looking at this. I'm like, I've got a lot of gesso to do. You got gesso? Uh-uh. Just black gesso. I oh, do. Right. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, oh my goodness, everyone just got gesso. <laughs> no, black gesso. So I'm gonna black gesso it and then do the brown and then do a lighter brown to kind of make it look like what I'm thinking. I'm thinking anyways that that's what I want to do. Wow. Went wonky there with the blue gun for a second. Mm. I'm so actually not I'm pretty pleased that this um, little these little plywoods I wish it would show better but they're actually looking making it look not less uh, crazy less wonkyish maybe okay okay so I've, got, I've just got to figure out how to um, fill in this corner here okay so I'm just going to be folding paper until I get to make a template. <laughs> I will show you guys my my wagon so far, and I gotta climb and clear off my spot. I'm starting to go crazy with my thought here. Yeah, okay, oh. turning to you then. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle says they both look great. Like how they're turning out. It's so hard to see. Is it really? Is it hard to catch what we're doing, guys? Just question, because I'm I'm wondering if you guys are. I have to get this out of the way if I'm going to go crazy. I'm wondering if you guys are, like, understanding. I also got to build some stairs. I just thought of that. Yeah. Is it too crazy of a project? Is it too big or too... We might have to think of angles when we do these big ones. <laughs> the recording angles. So this is how it's looking. Crazy. A bit. Now this is the door area. I'm going to have to put a handle, whatever, and fix up some of this stuff, but that's how it's looking so far. So this part here is going to get covered, and I might just do that right soon here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my straw, paper straw, and I was going to think about where the axles are going to be. So what I'm going to do is use this, oops, can you see this circle here is my size my wheel so i'm going to put one axle here and then one so i'm going to put one there and one right about here or something like that so i kind of want to get that attached so i'm trying to figure out where my circle is going to be for my wheels. So one here. If I make a mistake, I heat it up with my, my, my heat gun, my this thing, and move it. Not a big wiggly for that. And I'm thinking one right about here. Maybe a little bit more back. I 
And I'm really kind of wonky. You can see how wonky this, this wagon is right now. Looking. It's a little crazy. I'm touching the camera. I'm beating the camera up in my way. But that's where I want my axle. So I'm going to paint that on. I'm also going to grab this shot tool and I'm going to whoop. I'm going to use it as a canvas top for it. And so I'm going to mod podge that on canvas top for my wagon. Can you guys see that? It's such a crazy look. And that's what I'm going to do. So. What I'm going to do now is just going to measure a little bit here with just my eyes. <laughs> no measuring. Okay. Terrible. Measure with my eyes. <laughs> Measure with my eyes. And then I'm just going to go. This is how long, how big my, I'm going to get my fabric scissors. This is how. Biggish my canvas is. And then I'm going to measure it with my eyes. My eyes. <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> now, the last wagon I did, I had um, just tubes holding up the canvas. It was more of a Western wagon. This one's totally different. But they do use canvases as well to make these, not just wood. So I have seen some made with canvases. So, so I thought, well, why not? Because I'm not, I didn't know what I wanted to put on the um, top. And like I said before, I had such a heck of a time the last time um, uh, painting with my wheels on that I'm going to do it separate and then glue them on after. For my first wagon, that was not a fun project to do. Painting with the moving the wagons and the the wheels and trying to get behind it. So I'm gonna do learnt that lesson. Just didn't learn my other lessons and not getting it so wonky. I actually think my duck was less wonky, <laughs> a lot less wonky. But um, yeah. Anyway, what are you doing, Nikki? Yeah, I'm still still doing working at the um side of the mm. thing okay, so yeah, i'm just gonna throw this on i don't know if i'm gonna paint a design on the roof or not i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet i might just might Oh, I'm doing it. I'm it's actually decoupage. I keep calling it the wrong thing. I've got the decoupage on here. Grabbing my scissors, trimming it up just a bit. This is what happens when you don't measure. So if you guys don't want to do this, <laughs> measure. Everyone that does this project is going to measure. I'm just the only crazy one. <sighs> Refuses. It's like a, I don't know. He's like, no. Don't make me measure. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to launch project on. So do I want to keep? I think I want to put the lip over the back here. And while I'm doing this, I'm just like realizing I got a little bit of coming out. So I fix it up a bit. Woo. All right, 
I think I should have some chocolate. Oh, no, maybe. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no? Okay, then. I think Ross said she liked you on chocolate. <laughs> was it Ross? <laughs> oh, that was funny. You did, you were really chatty. Not a bad thing. It was just like Nikki. <laughs> Yeah, should, should I do <laughs> Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. Who knew that um, sugar could infect you so that much? <laughs> yeah. Or the caffeine and the chocolate. There's quite a bit, isn't there? Mm -hmm. They're quite caffeine, caffeine and chocolate. I don't, I'm looking at the chat. I don't actually do. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys can see fine. Thanks, Peg. Peg saying it's pretty cool. I'm really being messy here. You guys don't even know where the blue is ending up. It's just crazy. I had to scrub my couch the other day because I was practicing a painting upstairs and white just flicked onto my couch. I was not, I was like freaking out. <laughs> oh, I'm like, no. I got the, 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 you know, the brush cleaner and got out. Yeah. Man. You just got like a romba thing. You still got that? No. No. Mm. Um, is that the floor cleaner? Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I don't actually use as much right now with the big dog. Oh, right, okay. He's not a mm. fan. Rosie's back. Yay, hi. That didn't take too long. Or we're just slow. <laughs> <laughs> we're being slow today. Okay, I think I might have constructed it, apart from the wheels. Yeah. Good, you can go and check. You, let them check you out then. Okay. Whoa, me. Okay, go. Right, yes. yes. I've sort of like constructed it now, got up the eaves and that. It's like really rough, but <laughs> got my little flappy flaps, got my little uh, the eave there, sides and base done, a little overhang. Sort of like, hmm. So well, interesting. Don't complain about rough, you just see mine. <laughs> Yeah, just like it's interesting actually. What's interesting is that um, it doesn't quite uh, it does go together, mm -hmm. but um, it's not symmetrical. <laughs> well, yeah. the project yeah, yeah. unless you take fun. the time. Yeah, like a lot of time. <laughs> so it's cool. So I'm going to be what I'm going to be doing now is cutting out some um, little bits mm -hmm. of windows, then looking at what design paper I'm using because I'm not I, I thought I might mix media it but then I thought no I don't actually have enough um, stuff to go on there so it's going to be easier to paper paper it put some mm -hmm. design paper on it have some cute little uh, windows on there and that cool yeah so I'm still thinking 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 <laughs> one of those projects yeah it is it certainly is so I've got a um yeah, I might actually make these like wooden for the doors because I've got a, uh, I've got a little, um, what have I got? I have got a, uh, a wood grain um, embossing plate. So I thought maybe I'd get that. Yeah, yeah, so I thought maybe I'd get some brown cardstock or something, you know, and uh, right. Put it through this little wood grain embossing folder to make the doors that might look nice. Mm -hmm. uh, won't really work on the roof and that. It would sort of work on the things, but I think I'm going to design paper that. But um, do the little wooden doors. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just thinking, 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 thinking what I can do. That's really cool. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's quite, it's, um, it's good to sometimes get the embossing folder out and the uh, dies, see what you got. Mm -hmm. I don't, when we're doing these projects and that, we don't do that. We normally yeah. just go straight to the mixed media things, but sometimes it's good to use, good to use as well, isn't it? It is. Very good. So I'm just going over there, folks, because that's where my um, cutting machine is. It's much too big to uh, come under. I've tried it on the table before, but it makes the camera shake and that. So I'm just disappearing, so I'll go back to you for a few moments. Okay. Um. Yay! 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 So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to construct my door look. So I'm just grabbing a piece of card from the end and I don't know what's visible here on the YouTube yet, but I'm just cutting a slit here. I cut uh, two of these just a second ago and glued them to my back door. So what I want to do for here, this is my door. Is this really wonky? This is really got to get kind of, it's, it's, it's getting together. <laughs> it's one of those projects that it's like, it's getting together. But what I want to do is make it like the door has a center piece. So it's like swings open. So what I'd like to do is tack things down the center here. I'm just going to put run a couple of beads of the hot glue down. Stand up so kind of make it look straight. Normally I wouldn't use so much hot glue on this project. Like I said, it was uh, it's just to Instead of having it clipped and sitting there forever, hmm, I could have actually let, I shouldn't have let that dry so quickly. So, I'm just kind of going as I go here. So I'm going to cut two pieces at the top. Thin pieces. I want it to look like a door, so I'll just put some kind of little handles. Little handles on it, like antique type of handles or something. We'll see how that works. In my mind, I'd like antique little handles or something. So, and like I said, I'm just kind of cutting, looking, cutting, looking, cutting, gluing, hitting my camera. You guys are seeing the weirdest angles on my hands, and look, all my my interesting veins in my <laughs> hands. But there, I'm trying to construct the door back here, and this is going to be the I, uh, hand. Actually, I don't, I don't think I'd switch to you. So there you go. Now, oh. now we're on you. I think I'd left it on me. Sorry. Oh, no worries. So we didn't get to see my <laughs> interesting hand. Okay, so I cut. If we, if we did switch... If we did switch, I just cut these strips here to make it look like a separate door, somewhat. And I have this hinges. I'm just going to leave them open like this. Are these doors? They're not quite straight, but whatever. That's going to be good. I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it kind of like that. Uh, yeah. I could put a little more glue in some spots here. And have a little hot pinky, but... Use something else. Use something else. Just a push. Let that glue push against there. But that is kind of what I'm going for. And now I think I'm ready to just sew it. And I think that the details are good for now. I'm not sure. I think they are. I could go into more detail, but... 
it's quite wonky and I'm not going to get the perfect wagon that I should have gotten. But the front, this back side here, whatever side this is, looks way better. The, the front side, I really went, I went crazy. It kind of looks like a wonky. It looks like it melted. <laughs> but there we go. So I think I'm just going to gesso it. Whew. Who has a joke? <laughs> Peg's asking for a joke. Me. No, no, I'm not. I, not in a moment. I'm trying to figure out what am I gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna grab. A, let me see if I can find a big brush here. I have to like oh, take my brushes away from the girls. I'm telling you, oh, I have to gesso this. The roof. I'm not sure about the color of the roof yet. If I should be one color, but I don't think I'm gonna just sew my roof. So I'm gonna start with the, the just sewing. This is really thick. This might be too thick, but this doesn't look like it should be this thick. Is this gesso? Yep. <laughs> Make sure it's not modeling paste. Anyway, so I'm gonna gesso this. And whenever Nikki's ready, she can switch it to her. My bird is not happy. I think it's past his bedtime. It's getting darker really fast, and he doesn't like um, a certain type of light. makes him really upset when he figures it's bedtime. But for him to go to bed, he has to be in the next room. And if he starts squawking, you guys know he'll be happy. <laughs> so this kind of fills in a lot of the wood pieces and the the wonkiness, but then it still gives you the wood look, and I like that. So, I kind of like brush it in, go with the, what would be the grain of the wood, Maybe get it in a little bit in the cracks, and then go with how the wood would be going. So, that's what I'm doing. And it's such a better idea to do the gessoing before you add the wheels, like I've done last time. <laughs> but there we go. It's not too bad. Can you see how it kind of disguises some of the mistakes, some of the faux pas? So it just helps it. And then when you have the different browns and the tones, it's going to look really nice. Got pieces of paper falling. The sky's falling. So I'm gonna come around the side. I'm just gonna try to get coming around the front. I got lots of junk that's sticking to it because I'm like leaning up. I got cardboard and hot glue hitting my camera again but this is how it's looking i wanted to do some modeling paste on here too so i'm hoping that we have we're able to do that but i want i have some stencils that i think that would look really cute for like the woodwork on here what they normally would have really nice painting or woodwork on these trailers or um, wagons. Yep. So, oh, you can't see. I'm trying to see, but you guys can't see. <laughs> I'm like leaning it so I can see. Thanks, Peg. Bye. Oh, Peg leaving? Yep. Oh, bye, Peg. So oh, that's that. But you can really see how it's like fixing it up. I don't know. In my mind, it is. What do you guys think? Let me right there. What you guys think? You think it's kind of making it look a little bit 
a little better. <laughs> Don't just tell me because I want to hear it. <laughs> Stevie. I think it just helps it all come together. I do too. They're, like even the, this is not like painting or other kinds of mixed media, but it still has its ugly stages, you know? <laughs> it's cool. like yeah. So it's like and then at the end you're like, wow. So that's my got this door to do. It'll come together. Okay. My front porch is still got to get done here on the side. So I'm just taking my time and just sewing it. As soon as you want to go to you, though. <laughs> I'm not at the point where it's like, just so, just, oh, just so, just so, just so, just so, just so. Wrap in. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. So I've yeah. just cut out my um, little windows, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put some vellum behind the window panes. Oh, cool. Um, to make so that I don't have to cut out the box because that was a really bad idea. <laughs> don't do it at home unless you have. Um, if you've got the box already made, don't try and cut the windows. It just doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I, if I'd have thought it out, you know, I wouldn't have done it. So I've got a window for each side and the back. I've um, I embossed this piece of design paper and then ju I've just um, brushed in some stuff that's going on it. Can hear myself? That's not good. It's never good to hear yourself. And uh, I'm going to be putting the. Um, which ones are on there, I think. You got the volume on your phone on? No. No, I'm echoing somewhere for some reason. Mm. Aren't I glad I've got the vellum? Yes, thank you, Ros, for sending you the vellum. I've used it twice now. You must say time using it. <laughs> I've got stuff sticking See, look, because I got some vellum from Ross. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a great idea. You can also use um, um, plastic from packaging. Yeah, I, but I'm not going to have the windows cut through, so I'm doing the misty thing. So yeah. I don't want the plastic. Cause it no, I'm just through. giving suggestions for somebody else if they decide oh, right. to do it again. <laughs> Okay then. So uh, I'm actually going to measure measure it and cut it out because I just want it to be the size to go be behind there. I could suppose I could do it all the way through there. Might look okay actually. Now I just do it, cut it the size of the window. So I'm going to. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do something. Look for my ruler. I love the windows. Those windows are great. They look so yeah, they're cool. very cool. Very cool. Yeah, they are. Yeah, isn't it cool when you see someone using stuff you've sent them? Yeah. Still just letting, just letting you know. <laughs> just need to take a sliver off there. Okay. 
and I went out and um, committed an atrocity. I went out and bought myself some of that uh, art glitter glue. Uh huh. Oh boy. And it's coming out the bottom because I didn't have the tough one, and it cost me twenty two dollars ninety. Wow. Yep. I hope that wasn't your favourite stuff. Well, no, this art glitter glue. I've never tried it before, so uh -huh. I'm giving it a try. Maybe it was just glitter that wasn't your favourite. I can't remember what you said. Glitter. <laughs> yeah. And I bought one of those special tops for it, which cost me nine dollars. Oof. Yeah. Well, when I say I committed an atrocity, I committed an atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> But the nice thing about it is it gives you this real fine bead of glue to work with. So yeah, it's actually uh, in that respect, because I'm using vellum, it's quite nice. And it dries clear. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, I got my, finally, most of the gesso done. I didn't do the bottom yet. That's crazy talk. <laughs> yeah, can you believe the prices they charge us over here? Yeah, it's, there's um crazy. It just seems crazy. As I'm not like that is a lot. It is. <laughs> it is a lot in anybody's language. It's a lot of money. Yeah. I think I'm going to put modeling paste on my roof. How's that going to work? Do you think that's going to work for me? I don't know. Give it a go. Yeah. It's a friendly. Be interesting. If nothing yeah. else. An interesting experiment, if nothing else. If nothing else. If nothing else. If I can find. Oh, so, yeah, I'm going to use my stencil and I'm going to put modeling paste on my roof while my gesso is drying because I have nothing else to. Do except for watch gesso dry. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Should we go back to you? If you like. This is quite the experiment here. I haven't done this before on oh, well, we'll see. I'd love to see you experimenting. <laughs> on um oh that is just gooey. That's really gummy. I might be dry. Um paper towel. I've never gessoed on paper towel before. <laughs> oh, God. So, I think I'll just go for it. Yeah, it is, Michelle. Crazy price. It is, yeah. But if it's going to be a good glue, then uh, it'll be worth it, actually, because glue's, yeah. you know. If, you, if you're making a good a project and you want it to last, then you're gonna have good glues and that. Oh dear, this is really just crazy. I don't even know why I'm doing this with just so wet. <laughs> Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm making a mess. I am totally going crazy. Eileen's lost it, kind of a thing here. We will see how this works. <laughs> I can't even grab my modeling paste out. All right. This is the craziest thing I think I've done in a little while. It's not too bad. Oh, but I'm getting black fingers from all the modeling paste or the gesso. Okay, so I'm going to go on this side, do the same thing. Try to, try to do the same thing. I gotta get some on there to kind of hold it. This modeling paste is so thick right now. It's look, it's holding it once I get a little bit on there. Can you see that? <laughs> yep. So it's pretty thick. I don't know if it's normally supposed to be this thick, but hey, it's actually not too bad for what I needed to do with it right now. I think I got some gesso on there. Now I'm ho I'm hoping this kind of mimics some kind of shingling. That's what I was going for. 
And I'll try to do this without squishing too much. Uh, wow. This is crazy. This is the thing. When I start crafting, crafting, I sometimes don't stop when I should I let things dry. <laughs> I told you guys, I feel so bad for that. Yeah, it's difficult in a live stream though to, to um, let it dry properly. Yeah. So this is this is how it's going to be. Not too bad. That's really, really um, thick modeling paste. Yeah. Oh. Michelle, don't go to a um, don't go to a chemist to get the rubbing alcohol. Go to a, a DIY store. What, what they call them in the UK, B and Q, and that, um, because uh, and you can buy the rubbing alcohol there under the section where they sell the paints. So, um, and it will be more expensive in a supermarket. It's called. Um, I'll just go back to me for a second. When I find yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tempting this. This is crazy. It's actually not too bad. I'll just go back to me for a second there. Yep. Perfect. Um, this is what you're looking for, and you buy this in um, the hardware stores at B and Q or whatever in the UK. I think it's called B and Q. You're looking for isopropyl rubbing alcohol, surgical spirit, and uh, and this is it. And it's much cheaper to buy it at B and Q than it would be to buy in the chemist. Same thing. This I think this is 97 percent, so it's really really strong. So there you go, don't go to the chemist. <laughs> That's you, Eileen. <laughs> Sorry, I ran out without uh, telling you. <laughs> on, on oh no. What's wrong? Oh no, I, I, when I went to get that, I left the, um, I hadn't positioned the uh, thing very well, so. Oh. Yeah, I ran away to throw my um, stencil in the in the sink. All right, cool. That was already hugely thick, and I didn't want to dry in my favorite stencil. <laughs> so there we go. So what are we on? I'm going to be drying right under my camera, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a little louder than normal. But um, everything's really wet. Yeah, Ross, we don't have it in the supermarkets here, but it's it's definitely in the um, it's definitely in the uh, oh my goodness, I've forgotten DIY places. <laughs> but what they call? I got mine from Martyr Martyr Ten, Martyr Ten. B and Q, yeah. I'm sure you get it in B and Q. It's damp. <laughs> it's damp. Do you have it on me, Nikki? Yeah. 
<laughs> so I am going to have to paint this brown yet, too, and then lighter brown. This is what it's looking like. And my roof, I'm still not sure. I don't know. I could do like a, a lighter, lighter brown maybe. I'm wondering if I lay it down. I've been sticking to a lot of pieces of paper here, a lot of scrap. I might have to get another layer of oh, paper. To, uh, stick down here so I don't have little bits and pieces of paper. I'm going a little faster than I should be, but I think I'll start getting a little bit of the brown on. And I might do the roof just a, uh, like a sugar brown or a tan, like, you know, a lighter brown. I just don't know what I'm doing yet with that. That's the thing that I'm not sure yet about. I'm going to clean my brush here before I get full of black from my gesso. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to directly put what I'm doing on here, you guys. Not normally do I do this, but I have a really wet brush. And I'm just going to get some brown on here. I'm not sure if I like it this dark. I might have to lighten it up. A lot of people have them like, like a green, hunter green in that too. And also, yeah. too, a lot of times they have yeah. uh, the roof coming really down to the bottom here almost right That's to, yep. you know, yep. I think I made this one a little bit wonky because uh, normally the roof rounded part would come right down here actually. But hey. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I did this wrong. <laughs> oh, that's necessary. Yeah, not necessarily wrong, just different. Making it your own. Yeah. Making it my own for sure. Love it. You know, you can almost make a series of these, and by the time you get really good at it, you know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you can yeah. be like a little, a little um, village of wagons. That'd be so cute. Oh, like Christmas wagons, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> do a little Christmas wagons and have little wherever you're from the season that you're you know you can have like if where um mickey and ross are from australia and new zealand that's where they live now they can have santa and, and have little surfboards on there and sandals <laughs> yeah santa and shorts and always amusing me that yeah um and other places whatever you know whatever you have for christmas here it'd be like holly and um all that cold stuff <laughs> christmas cactus <laughs> yep all that cold stuff it's kind of funny it's like yep santa packs shorts so when he gets over <laughs> Warm places you can change. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see a thing. Thanks, Michelle. Just try to see. See, I'm gonna have to stand up here because I'm every time I oops, my phone just went flying. Oh wow. The cord was um my cord was stuck. I'm going to unhook the cord. My phone went flying to the chair. The chair was, it was wrapped around the leg of the chair. Anyways, I got to stand up so I can not lean my 
Yeah. Wagon. So everyone can kind of see this weird view. <laughs> Two more of these, Nikki will be pros. Pros, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pros. I'm a pro. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I like this brown, but we'll see. Play with it. I could lighten it up too, so. Which I think I will. And then I think I will add some little painty doodads and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> kind of a weird thing to. I'm painting in all different directions. <laughs> What are you doing? I hear you cutting something. Cutting, cutting, cutting. It's me cutting, cutting, cutting. Wonky side, guys. Don't look now. It's my wonky side. <laughs> This is not a fire code window. It's a little small. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a peekaboo window. <laughs> oh, you know what we need? I need a little straw for the roof because I need a chimney. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do we just sing another thing, Tanya? We yeah. think too much alike sometimes. <laughs> Everyone's gone. They all left. <laughs> they started singing. Help me. Okay. I'm just uh, getting design paper. I'm looking for a pencil. It's really messy. I got pencil. some blue pieces when it's dry. I have to pull off. Crazy. My light is really making it hard for you guys to see, too, huh? It's really messy. Very cool. Okay, remove glue. Clamp. That's how we do it. <laughs> okay, you guys can see me moving around here, but let's see if you can see what we're painting here. But I'm really, I, I'm just, I can't wait to see yours with your wood grain. Oh, yeah, you have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I got him. You got him. My roof is still. Yep. Okay. Like the angle. Already. Let me see. Where do I put that? Where do I put that? Uh, you see now everything's starting to pile up on my desk and that. Oh, I know. I already like push things out of the way. It's like no. It's like what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, now I got that song in my head. <laughs> I'm singing it. Yeah. And I got dancing in their umbrellas and all. Oh, for the chimney cleaning. Ooh. Okay, so um, I've cut some paper. Don't forget to go to you. Yeah, I am just, just, just. Okay, good. And I'm um, just like inking up the edges now. As I say, I'm going to design paper way. 
because just because it'll be easier, I think. And uh, I'm fit it. I'm not measuring. What I'm doing is is actually fitting fitting it onto the box, which is you know never the best way. But yeah, I showed you that. Yeah, <laughs> best way. Never the best way, but um, because it always ends up being a bit rough and ready, but. We didn't think this one through very well. We just thought we'd just do it because <laughs> that's what we do. We wing things. <laughs> and sometimes it's not the best idea to wing things. <laughs> Ross is just saying she's um, reading. She was just reading about Romani. Uh, Romani and yeah. apparently they originally came from India. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, really? From India? <laughs> Well, and now I'm surprised. I thought they, you know, would come from uh, Russia or so, you know, Romania or something. There. Yeah. <laughs> that was my I'm so, uh, Baltic, and, you know, I'm Baltic and that. I so thought I read um, some stuff about them, and I didn't hear, ever read that. Interesting, but you know what? Yes, there's got to be like bulk of people all over the place from all over the place. Yeah. Um, that name, that nickname that they get of gypsies is just people roaming around, right? So they, they can be people from all over, too, I imagine, right? That's so cool. Thanks for sharing, Ross. Way back in the 5th century. Yeah, there you go. They've been roaming around forever. It's about time they found some place to go and look. Don't well, know. Well, I mean, there isn't such a bad way to live. If they leave you alone. Oh, man. So I Got to take it off. Got to take it off. I don't ruin it. Oh. <laughs> and that wasn't straight. That was like pie eyed. Let's do it again. Australia, I I looked up at chat as I did that, and uh, yeah. <laughs> never look at chat while you're trying to get something straight. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's my job to mess things up. <laughs> oh, Nikki. I am, even though my my roof is not dry, <laughs> I'm painting it. I'm being wild. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is hugely interesting, actually. See, you get a bit of a history lesson and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And all sorts when you can. Well, you know what? It's just so great that everyone comes in and chats and, you know, thank you so much, Ross, for looking that up. That's really cool because, you know, I didn't, I didn't even, like, know that, so. And I looked some of the stuff up. Of course, I didn't read everything, but that is pretty cool to know. It's nice to share. Fun fact. Oh, by the way, guys, we're doing our um, draw next week. We're going to give you guys one extra week for um, catching up on your challenges for International Crafters for our birthday giveaway. Um, the, um, what do you call it? The raffle. Like, how do you do What do you call that? We're going to do the, the, well, anyways. Draw. draw. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't think of that name, that silly little name. I couldn't think of, but we're gonna do it next week. Give everybody a chance with uh, catching up, and that we found that not too many people have so far gotten their names up. So give them a little more of a chance. Yeah. Then, yeah. To uh, put their challenges up, um, tag myself and Nikki, so then we can find their names and put them in the draw. So, no. 
And are we going to put names for each project, Nikki? Like um, if, say, someone did three projects, their name in three times? or Three what do you times, yep. Yeah. Three times in. Yeah. I think that would be fair. Yep. So, yeah. So it's going to be nice. And we thank, we really are thankful that, you know, we had people joining us for those um, streams. It's really great to see people working on projects too. So we hope more start doing the challenges and stuff like that. Because it's fun. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, me too, Michelle. I love finding out or Roz. Anyone. Okay, I was Roz that said I love finding out about things, but I do. I love enjoy finding out information and, and stuff like that. It's so cool. Fun facts. So cool. Actually it helps you in your art, you know, if you're doing a research thing for a project you do and actually reading up about it is really helpful. Yeah, yeah. Sticking on my door there. Just I'm drying my wrist again. I'm still kind of lost at where we're at. I'm not seeing the live stream. All right, yeah. I like, I'm seeing the past stream here. I don't know if it's because, let me see my phone. Yeah. Oh, Ross says she bought a better webcam. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I can see you. Okay. It was my little dot wasn't in the right spot. That's great. Yeah, so you got the week. <laughs> got an extra week. Mm -hmm. So I've just done put on the one little wooden door panel there. Because that's... Uh, I'm, Probably going to go around side by side. Sorry for all the dryer noises. Yeah. I don't know how my camera reacts anymore. It needs to be nice and quiet. Yeah, because so if we, I don't get a chance to finish that, I just finish off one side to start with, <laughs> just to show what it looked like, because. Uh, uh, I don't know, sometimes we just sort of like run out of time, don't we? Yeah. I'm the slower of the two. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been streaming. I haven't even got work on my wheels at all yet. No, nor me. I haven't thought about them yet. <laughs> it's like, no. Yeah. But I did get my roof painted, and I think I'm going to put gold on it after a little bit too. So That's my plan so far. So now I'm just kind of wondering, what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to add a little bit of paint and then, if it's not too tacky, the light on the side. Whoa, hit my camera. Yeah. Yeah, I keep hitting my camera. <laughs> it's not when you move the project to bed, is it? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to try to paint wood grain into my I'm trying to paint wood grain into my thing right now yeah. so how that goes what, what I did with my embossing folder is of course is that I rubbed the just the distress inks over the uh, grain bit which just brought it out a little bit more I think it's nice. nice create nice so what I'm hoping to do is just put some really wet paint on here and I'm wiping it off really fast see how that looks Right, okay. I'll, I'll just go back to you for that, yeah? Yeah, sure. It's I don't know how, I, I'm not sure how I agree with this color, but it's kind of got the yellowy gold color in it. I didn't want so brown, so it's not too bad. Normally, the trailers or the uh, uh, wagons were really bright, so. so I'm just going like that and trying to get some kind of color into it right here. Instead of how's that? I don't know. What does everybody think? Instead of the plain brown that we have on this side, 
I'm just going in with muted gold. This is not like a real gold. This is like a yellowy muted Americana gold right here. I'm going to try to get that on there quick and rub it off. Get a little more bright. Brighter color in there. So, I don't know. I like it better than just the brown. Because the brown's more of a Wild West type of, you know, wagon look. But I didn't have anything like the nice tanny brown that I liked. I don't have that. Could have made it, but there's that color. All right, I'm going to work on this side. I'm going to work on this side. We might have to do the wheels for me anyways. Um, and have them on there showing later because <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to get those wheels done. Well, we could always do a second parter. Yeah, we could. We'll be to say we can't do it in two parts. I'm not sure how I, whoops, beat up the camera again. I'm not sure how I like that one, but we'll see. I might have to do something else with that. There you sure go. There you go, Eileen. The Richard Gypsies had gold on the outside. <laughs> Ooh. There you started her off, look. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Uh, Ross she put gold down, she's there. <laughs> awesome. I like how it looks on the oops on the palettes or whatever, but I'm not sure how I like it there. But I might be able to change it if I don't like it too much afterwards. I could put maybe a little red or something up in the upper part so that it's something. No. This is where I get really sticky and I start going crazy with it because <laughs> I'm putting the paint everywhere. I did that with my last one too. So was like, but I didn't have so much detail, so much work to do. And that last one, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I gotta do this. <laughs> I'm like, my husband's gone. I could do this. All right, I hit my camera again. So I'm just trying to get some of the color off. It's going to dry more stiff, hopefully, the, the, these panels. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, Ross. You're right. Great minds. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the upper part or this outer part here in red. But for now, I'm just going to do it all in gold and and do the red afterwards. This gold town. Layers are always good. I'd hit the camera again. <laughs> Layers are always good. My muted gold. And I'm gonna put the really more metallic gold on the roof. So, oops, can't see. You guys can't see. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I still got to make stairs, so that's going to be have to go for another time too. I think. There's my gold, guys. Get the ball out of the way. I think I'm going to put the red in there as well, but. That's how it's looking. I think I kind of squishing my roof a bit because it's looking, when I'm painting, it's looking a little 
less out, but well, next time we'll know better. <laughs> will we? Will I know better to slow down? <laughs> I well, I did say, I'd keep telling you. Oh, I know, I know, but once you get started, what are you doing over there anyway? Oh, I'm just looking about. <laughs> I'm just taking my time. I'm just having some fun. I'm actually um, just making some templates so that I can cut out uh, the end bits. Are you showing us? Yeah, I'm just going to it now. So I've got this bit here to cover up to start with. So I'm just going to be making a template um, just so that I can cut out the... Uh, cut out the design paper without having to waste it all so um yeah and you can you can make templates by drawing around things or you can make templates by just folding over on things so um this one it will be just slightly easier to fold it Fiddly, but it's worth it in the end, <laughs> especially when you've got weird shapes to move around. Am I in, even in view? No, I don't know. There, I've got the template roughly of uh, how that's going to be. flap here is the flap that I've got my magnets under under there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Things are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Who else? Is Who else is up still in the chat? Oops! I painted my lamp. <laughs> I don't know if my chat's just really slow, but I don't see anyone chatting, so I'm just going to... Pardon me? Go out and come back in. <laughs> well, let's see. Yeah.
I might have to do like um, I'm doing like a little bit of red on it and I'm thinking I might have to do like yellow around the trim or something like that after <laughs> to make such bright colors you know yep oh good Michelle's still there and Roz is still there perfect hey. <laughs> So I'm just gonna be, I'm just painting my red right now, but I'm thinking ahead of time that I might want yellow trim on my windows. So I might have to repaint some of my back, my, my other side there, but yeah. Chilling on the couch. That's what Roz is doing. Uh, nice. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Actually, chilling. This is what I'm doing now. Is chilling. Yeah. Craft. Chilling. Yeah. Crafting is chilling for me, anyway. I find it very relaxing. Oh, there is my flowers and things around this just to make it look a little bit more a little bit more like a window. Just be going to be seeing it up. Let's just put a peg on there to make sure it Ew. I put all my, I put all my pegs away. <laughs> oh that's so unbelievable. Yeah. Just put a peg on there just to make sure it's going to be glued down properly. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> Ross says we're both doing so well for winging it. <laughs> Wing it. Yeah. What's my red on? I really shouldn't have did so much red on the back window. But okay, come back to you then. I did the red already. Did the red but, already? Yeah, the red. Can you guys see? And I just did the outskirts here. It's quite a crazy job, but I think I want to leave these yellow here or the muted gold. So I'm going to have to replace the whoa the back window. I think I'm going to have to do muted gold back on there. This is what I got so far. My roof is kind of like a metallic gold looking. And that's what I have so far. So I think right now the last piece that I'm going to do, and we're going to have to probably, how long have we been doing this for? I'm going to probably have to just on my bottom once I can let it sit up. But I haven't done my bottom yet. Oh, and I also need to put my tube. Here's I have a golden straw. Oh, sorry, guys. I have to take it. Sorry. You can can you go to you, Nikki? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All I'm doing is um just measuring up on this one just to uh, for my design paper. I'm I've decided to cover this uh, hole up completely because it's such a shambles. <laughs> I'm just going to cover it right up. No two ways about it. No two ways about it. What, what I'm do, going to do is put this on and then just wrap it round just a little bit round the, the sides to make sure that um, it, the seams are seamless. That one was okay there. I want it to go around the front there and around the back there. Sorry about that. My husband forgot I was doing a late stream. Yeah, it, I don't know how he manages it. <laughs> he does. I don't know how he manages that. That's so funny. Five and a half. 
just got to write it down, otherwise I'll forget. <laughs> he called the house. I knew it was him because I didn't answer. So I'm putting my chimney top on, but I'm just going right. to. Okay. I'm just gluing this golden straw. Oh, you're on me. Are you on me? Yeah, on you, Doug. My phone is lagging a bit. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to, I cut this at a huge angle here. I'm just going to hot glue my golden straw, paper straw, to my roof. And I'll have to put a little cone on it eventually. But this is it. So let's see here. Grab a piece of cardboard. But that's it. So it matches my roof. Happen to have this piece left over. I have other, I might have other golden straws, but I had this piece left over my last project. So there we go. Cute, kind of cute. James, it is cute. It's a rough, it's a rough go at it, but I think if I do a couple more, if I decide to do a couple more for a Christmas theme, I might. I'm actually thinking about doing that now. <laughs> yeah. we, we don't have a tree or anything, but this might be just the, what I need to make it look a little bit festive. So I like that idea. Maybe. Or it might just be too cluttered. I don't know. I might think, oh, no, it's too cluttered. It's about 2.5 hours. <laughs> With two and a half hours. Thanks, Michelle. Two and a half hours. Wow. Yeah. We've, we've got the stream. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah. Kick me out. Well, not that it kicked me out, but my computer has crashed a lot lately. So. Now I'm at my end. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's a shocker. Yeah. That is what I have so far. So you can go to yours, and I think that that's all I pretty much have to show for today, Nikki. Okay, we're going, are we? Well, that's all I have to show. If you want to play a little bit more, I could paint a little bit more, but. That's fine. It's fine. Did you want to come back and uh, finish off, or did you want to finish off um, just off camera? Well, well, we can make it up. We can think about that later on, I suppose. Yeah. We'll let you ladies know <laughs> what we're doing. We'll let you ladies know if we're finishing off on um, stream or not. Yeah, because we normally finish off off stream, don't we? Yeah. Sometimes that's a bit. This one's really nice. So, what do you uh, girls think, on or off stream? Should we finish up off stream or on stream? <laughs> Rose says that it would be a very gypsy family. Yeah. Oh, I think Cora is home, hopefully. It's getting dark, but it's not really that late. But it's not fun having her out after dark. <laughs> so, so I'm just uh, wrapping around and... Uh, and gluing down. Hmm. It's hard to do a video like this. It really is. <laughs> what did on stream? Russ wants us to finish off on stream, so there you go. Okay. We'll do that then. It's gonna be hard not to work on it. I won't though. <laughs> Well, you could always come back for a quickie tomorrow. 
good. Okay, so we'll do it off the stream or on the stream. And that'll be that'll be fun. That'll be our first first time we off on stream. <laughs> yeah. Wow, shocker! I might just um put this other door on just to uh on the front there. I'm just painting my window right now too, so I'm not like. Yeah, I didn't manage to take wrap that around, so you might get a little bit purple there. Mm -hmm. I might and have a better filming angle, though. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how big this was going to be, even bigger than my duck wagon. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it on stream then. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's funny. Could you bird and your dog? Yeah, yeah, that bird's up past its bedtime. Yeah, it? It's the sun down yeah. its bed. It's very unhappy. Yep. Right. So Raz says, can we do tomorrow? Um, what time, Nikki? <laughs> uh, I'm working 10 to 11 tomorrow, I think. Yeah. So either um, either early, either earlier or later, I think. Uh, let me see. I think they've sent me a message through. Later might not suit my husband. Right. Yep. <laughs> he comes home Friday night and he's only home for one day and then he's gone again. So I don't crack when he's home. No. So do you want did one thirty? Yes. Yep. And then um, that means that we have to keep it to an hour, okay? Okay. Yep. Okay, so we'll come back tomorrow for an hour. <laughs> One thirty mountain time. Sounds good. So, um, yeah, let's do a quick show of what we got done for now, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so this is mine so far. This, this is going to be my front with the uh, massive doors. This is going to be a really big wagon. <laughs> I've got um, part of one side done. There, I've got the roof with the magnets on because mine's going to... Um, magnets are actually on the other side, aren't they? Mine's going to open up so that you can use it to put things inside. Nice. That's going to be mine there. Come back to you, Eileen. Okay, well, I'm just kind of painting up. Oh, I just did a little yellow trim on here. Um, and this is it. I'm getting everything sticking to it. Oh, yeah. It'd be good, actually, to give it a while to dry, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I actually did want to do more um, embossing or, you know, but I'm not sure now. I might just hand free hand paint. I want to do some floral stuff, but I'm not sure if I'll just do that hand painting now. But I do want to do some hand painting for the future here too. So that's it so far. Huge. I think I'm going to figure out a different angle because it's so big. It is so big. So. And um, I did a quite, you can see the wave here. It's just bending because it's wet and I did a little wonkiness on the side here but not bad I mean I could have done better <laughs> next time but that's that for now ah, it's hard to even show you guys like it's you can see it it's it's big <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's like a not even a small handbag size big it's big 
<laughs> it's a large handbag. <laughs> but thank you, Michelle. And we'll I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow at one o'clock um, standard. What, what is it? Mountain Standard Time. Yeah, one o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, see you guys then. Okay. Bye. bye. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Bye. Bye.